three. Welcome to the second episode of the Boys Production. And we are talking about Italian wine. And today, especially, we are talking about Baco, Ciao Ich bin Bacchus. I am Bacchus. It's a German aromatic variety made in 1933 in Pauz. It's a cross by the famous Muno Turgau and a child of Sivana and Riesling. But actually, Bacchus is not just a grape, he's an ancient god. He's the god of wine, god of the party, he's the god of ancient Roman people, and the same for Greece people, but with the name of Dionysus or Dionysia, we say usually. And was the son of Zeus, the only god that was half mortal because his mother was a princess, actually. Interesting, the artist depict Bacchus diversely in one version. Bacchus is a young bit mine. I prefer the latest version of Bacchus, more wise, more mature with the some beer with no beer. This probably reflects the fact you know, Bacchus actually like normal human beings and have gone through various phases of his life. You know, the legend has it when Bacchus was young. He stayed with this guy called Sinemes. So this guy is actually the god of the forest. He taught Bacchus everything about the vine. Yeah. But after that, Bacchus traveled all over the world, from Asia to the Mediterranean, spreading the knowledge of horticulture and knowledge basically everywhere. How come he became the uh, god of potty? Oh, because in 200 before Christ, people started to celebrate it with the Bacchanali. It's, uh, it's not only a white story with that one. Today we choose this one to pair with this historic figure of Roman myth. It's called Vesuvio Lacrima Christi Dog. Lacrima Christi is a subsong and in, in Italian it actually means the tears of the god. And in, in Italy we try to recycle this beautiful name, so you probably heard about uh, another Greek named Lacrima, but that Lacrima... Oh yes, it's a totally another variety, it's a red one, it's an aromatic red variety. For Lacrima Christi del Vesuvio is actually a blend of two native varieties, there are Caprettone... Oh, that Caprettone. We have Caprettone here. Caprettone, it means uh, beer goat. And the other one is Coda di Volpe. Literally, the translation is foxtail. The producers used to believe those two grapes are identical. But the recent scientific studies have proven that those two are actually uh, two different varieties. A Coda di Volpe is more uh, acidic, more on citrusy aromas, while Caprettone is more mineral, more dry fruit, more tropical. So very, very different. Tabacos. Tabaco. To the next one.